Greetings everyone, and welcome to part 19 of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And no, you did not miss anything. What I've done is, I've done some off-screen level grinding, and now I've gotten Sora up to level 25. Yeah. And, as you can see here, I've gotten some more health and some uh, new abilities as well. Well, Donald and Goofy also got some new abilities and more health than magic in case of Donald. But look at all that stuff. And I got the ability scan. <laughs> yeah, finally. For those of you who don't know, scan is essentially the ability that will allow me to see, well, an enemy's health bar. So yeah, that's right. I can see how much damage I can do to an enemy. Finally. Anyway, there's a red trinity in the alleyway right here so that we can, well, get to the secret alleyway behind the hotel. And this is all just to, I think, open a shortcut when those boxes are gone. And to get access to this chest which contains some more Dalmatians. So, <laughs> yeah. So, like, as I was saying, folks, I did some off-screen level grinding, and I decided to go to just uh, level 25 because, well, it's a nice, respectable level, you see. I mean, it'll still allow me to just uh, kill enemies on sight, but at the same time, I, um, I still want a fair challenge, as it were, you see. I mean, I don't want things to um, be insane, you see. And, folks, I'm actually going to proceed onward with plot this time. And I'm doing what I should have done the first time I visited Leon. Ask him about that, those gummy pieces I got from Wonderland and Deep Jungle. Yeah. But, oh well. Ugh. And, you know, I still can't... You know, it's still kind of weird hearing that trumpet with a uh, hand in hand, you know? But, yeah. Alright, so what I've done to level up in, um, well, while I was in Traverse Town was just to go to the 3rd District, kill all the Heartless, um, leave, uh, go to a safe point so I can heal up and repeat the process over and over and over again until I reach level 25. I mean, it's actually kind of fun, you see, but uh, it can be time-consuming as well, so, um... What I've done was I've stopped the recording so that I can do some off-screen level grinding and, uh, yeah. Alright, so yeah, we talked to Leon, he told us to go see Sid, and, um, that's what we're gonna do right now. And, yeah, so does this mean that Sid, uh, knows more about gummy pieces than, uh, we do? The answer is... yes. Yes, he does. So our goal is now is to go to Sid so that we can... Bleh, don't wanna go this way? Yeah, folks, don't worry, I'm gonna speed things along. I'm just going to keep going and uh, pass all the Heartless because at this point, um, I don't need to grind anymore. Well, right now at least. I, I'm strong enough so that I can make it past the Heartless, uh, well, relatively unscathed. I hope, hopefully. Okay. Oh! Ugh! Run! Roll! Roll! Roll away! There we go. Alright. Uh, again, that trumpet. I, I, yeah, no offense to, um, let's see, I forgot who did this. I know her, her name's off the tip of my tongue. Um, the composer, um, who usually does the Kingdom Hearts series, but the trumpet, uh, I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do like the, um, I do like, like I said last part, some of the orchestrated songs, but... There's something about a synthesized track that really speaks to you, don't you know what I mean? I mean, it's kind of, um, it's kind of conflicted, you see. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, here we are, we're talking to Sid in order to move on with plot, blah, 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 navigational gummy, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, we've been using the gummy ship to go to other worlds, lots of exposition. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yes, so, um, what Sid's gonna do is he's gonna install that gummy piece uh, into our ship so that we can go to other worlds. So, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. 
And he's going to do it free of charge, so hooray. But actually, we have to do something for him first. We, so we gotta deliver a, a book. Huh? To be up to restore it the way it was. All right, <clears throat> and that's cool. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, we get this old. Yeah, what was that? Hello. Uh, the bell at the gizmo shop. Okay. So yeah, folks, uh, we do have to deliver the book first in order to actually proceed onward with plot. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go on and uh, make sure we're fully healed and head onward to, well, Merlin's house again. Because, well, why not? Oh, now speaking of, um, I visited Merlin's house a bit ahead of a schedule as Merlin himself pointed it out. And uh, technically, by uh, getting the book and heading to Merlin's house, this is the only way to actually proceed on with plot. I mean, if you were to get the book and then head on to Merlin's house, well, nothing's really changed except that uh, Merlin will comment to you um, about magical skills and all that stuff, and yeah. Now, I'm not going to use Merlin's uh, magical practice room because, well, there's no point, really, unless you want to practice up on your magic. I mean, what Merlin will do, he will send you up to the ceiling, well, no, scratch that, the attic or second floor or something, and then Merlin's furniture will become your, uh, well, targets, as it were. So you can just practice spamming your magic at will, and also, um, your MP does not run out while you're practicing, so, uh, that's good of you, Merlin. That is really nice of you to, uh, <laughs> because that would suck to waste, uh, MP while you're trying to, uh, practice, you see, so, um, <laughs> Anyway, here we are, back in Merlin's house, and we're gonna give him the book. Alright, so, yeah. Exposition, 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 blah, 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 blah. Essentially, uh, this book will, um, let me put it this way. This book is very special, and until uh, we uh, find some uh, torn pages from that book, well, um, there's nothing we can do about it for right now. I mean, we can actually take a look at it, but at this point, what's the point? It's best to go and find all the torn pages that are scattered throughout the worlds, well, the next set of worlds, so that we can actually explore the book properly. So what is this book, you may ask? Well, Kingdom Hearts fans, we know what the book is. Um, I'm saving it for the uh, non-Kingdom Hearts fans. You see, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise, you know? Anyway, this is the Fairy Godmother's purpose right here. We are to give her the uh, stone right here, and the stone is actually a summon gem. And just give it to the fairy godmother, and she will transform it into a summon. So, um, yeah. So, there'll be other summon gems that we will get throughout this game, and it's only a matter of, uh, how are we get, how are we get them and stuff. So, uh, yeah. And we learned a summon spell, Simba! Alright. Now, to summon, uh... And, and uh, bleh, to summon a summon in this game, well, that's what the four slots for. At least in uh, 1.5, because, well, well, for those of you who uh, don't know or need a reminder, the PS2 version had, you know, all the action commands as the four slot. And to summon a summon in the PS2 version, you had to essentially go to magic and then go all the way down to, well, the, the bottom in order to use a summon. Which can be a bit tedious, especially if you're in the heat of battle. And I'm glad 1.5 fixed that, because um, <laughs> that can be a bit of a headache, you see. So yeah, our first summon is good old Simba from the Lion King. I mean, it makes sense to have uh, summons here. I mean, it is kind of part Final Fantasy, you know. Um, instead of Ifrit or Shiva, we have some Disney characters, and <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, we have an important cutscene coming up featuring an old friend. There you are. What's going on? Riku! 
Hey, hey, cut it out. I'm not dreaming this time. Right? I hope not. It took forever to find you. Riku! Wait a second, where's Kairi? Isn't she with you? Well, don't worry. I'm sure she made it off the island too. We're finally free. Hey, she might even be looking for us now. We'll all be together again soon. Don't worry. Just leave everything to me. I know this... Leave it to who? Sora, uh, what did you... I've been looking for you, and Kairi too, with their help. Who are they? We visited so many places and worlds, looking for you. Really? Well, what do you know? I never would have guessed. Oh, and guess what? Sora is the Keyblade Master. Who would have thought it? What's that mean? So, this is called a Keyblade? Huh? Hey, give it back! Catch. Whoa. Okay, so you're coming with us, right? We've got this awesome rocket. Wait till you see it. No, he can't come. What? Forget it. Oh, come on. He's my friend. I don't care. Oh, he's gone. Riku? Nice going. Oh well. At least he's okay. And who knows? Maybe we'll run into Kyrie soon, too. Donald, don't be such a jerk. Well, you're always a jerk. I mean, that's why people love you, but don't be a jerk. Let Riku join the party. I mean, come on. Perhaps by joining the party, we could avoid what's about to happen next. And, uh, yeah. But then again, uh, Sora did interrupt uh, Donald while Donald was introducing himself, so, um, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm sure Goofy wouldn't mind Riku joining the party, but Donald, jeez Louise. Oh, so well. And, yeah. <laughs> I understand Sora doing that whole touchy-feely thing with Riku because, well... He wanted to make sure he was not hallucinating again. He wasn't... He, he's got to make sure he's not high or anything because, well... How many times did he see Kyrie and, uh... Kyrie wasn't actually there, huh? Yeah. And how odd that Riku somehow got his hands on the Keyblade and it did not automatically go back to Sora. Um... If you recall, uh... The previous time someone had a Keyblade in hand, Leon here, for example... It automatically went back to Sora. And, uh, folks, I'm going to let you know right now, that will be an important plot point uh, later on in the game. So, yeah. Anyway, we're getting exposition, exposition, exposition about Ansem reports and uh, Maleficent herself, how she essentially kicked them off of their home world. So, yeah. Now, speaking of Maleficent, uh, we're about to, uh, well, see her once more. You see, it's just as I told you. While you toiled away trying to find your dear friend, he quite simply replaced you with some new companions. Evidently, now he values them far more than he does you. You're better off without that wretched boy. Now think no more of him and come with me. I'll help you find what you're searching for. Is it just me, or am I getting some Palpatine vibes off of Maleficent right here? You know, trying to uh, manipulate, well, uh, uh, someone to do her bidding and stuff, you know, toying with them and stuff. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> But then, of course, thanks to the uh, final mix extra scene, well, you, you saw that Riku was vulnerable and stuff because he thought, uh, well, he lost uh, his friends and stuff. 
So, yeah, Maleficent definitely took advantage of him, so, um... <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, anyway, folks, we're getting exposition, exposition, exposition about the bell in the 2nd District. You know, the one we heard earlier back in, uh, Sid's accessory shop? So, um, yeah. Guess what, folks? We're actually going to be going there next part, really. So, uh, yeah. There is a reason we need to go to the bell, and, um, well, let's just say that it will help Traverse Town tremendously. So with that, uh, in part 20, we will explore the bell tower. See ya.